Well, with the, Kenny, with the, the news obviously coming down yesterday and kind of being able to process it all, what are your thoughts about making the move to the Big 12? It's exciting. I mean, uh, college football is changing. Uh, I compare it to a technology business. But it changes every six months. There's new rules. You have to adapt, right? I'd like to say uh, I had a plan since, if you've noticed, how we've been recruiting that region of the country since I've been here. I knew that was a, an option. And we made, sir, made sure we diversified where we were recruiting in this class. That way we were ready, ready for whatever decision was made. Did you talk oh, you to said, recruits, parents? Oh, sorry. Recruits, uh, parents? How helpful is it to have, uh, sorry, uh, coaches like Carrington and Samples who have that experience recruiting in that region? Huge. I mean, that was a big reason we brought them in was their football acumen, but then their relationships in the region. And uh, knowing that there was a chance this could happen, right, we wanted to make sure that we had a plan regardless of where we were in, which is why I was never worried, because I knew we had a good plan regardless. I know this institution, we're a top five city, right? We're one of the largest enrollments in the country. We're a top 20 public academic institution. We're a top 40 overall institution. We have more Fulbright scholars than Stanford. I mean, I was never worried about Arizona State. I'm worried about our football team. President Crow, our administration, they're gonna make, make sure Arizona State's always okay. I definitely believe it allows us to, you know, go into different homes that maybe didn't want to come play for us because the region we would play away games. Now us traveling, uh, you know, to Texas, traveling to the Oklahomas. Oh, we need to recruit Oklahoma now. That's a place that I, in my past, signed five guys out of when I was at Memphis. So we definitely have to get a little bit more aggressive in that region of the country. But make no beans about it. I mean, we're going to recruit Arizona. We still have to recruit California. You know, if we look at where we need to recruit, I think we're, what we're recruiting right now is kind of the staple. And may we, get, may we have the opportunity to recruit, recruit a few more people in the Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana region, yes. And uh, we'll take advantage of that. Yeah, I mean, there's two sides. I have the fan in me that's like, man, like, I grew up in the pack. Like, the rivalries, the tradition, that's the fan in me. The coach in me who came in here to do a job and to get this place where I know it can go is excited and thrilled because I know this was by far the best thing for Arizona State. So, you know, when I go, oh my gosh, ignore, ignore Chris, right? But so there's two sides. When I go home at night, it's a little sad. You know, the 18 hours I'm here, I'm pretty fired up. Do you want to play any of the old Pac-12 teams that aren't in the Big 12 in a non-conference game? Oh, for sure, Arizona. Well, I guess that's conference. <laughs> <laughs> Always want to play that game. Always want to play that game. Other than that, we're going to play with a schedule. You know, uh, keep the Territorial Cup alive and play with a schedule. Is there some relief this is over, having to kind of navigate it? Since Not at all. I mean, you guys thought I probably worried about this all the time. I didn't shed a tear. Like I said, I know what Arizona State is. Arizona State is a half. It always will be a half. When situations like this happen, right, you're, I was just blessed to be at a school that was a half and always know that we would be on the right side of the situation wherever we ended up because it's Arizona State University. Yeah, we're allocating a ton of resources to study Oklahoma State. Week two, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, not really. We'll focus on that in the future. Now, are we, does, does that league have higher budgets? Yes. Does that leave, league have more financial investment? Yes. So, you know, because of the situation we're in, we're going to get the opportunity to probably advance in those categories. And this is where we need the fans in the Valley to rally behind the decision to be in sports, to stay competitive. Right now we need the fans in the Valley to get behind it, fill up the stands, show support, because we're going into the football heaven, Texas. If we're not ready and our fans aren't ready, right, and everybody is not ready, right, we're going to be in for a rude awakening. How did you find out about the developments? Were there alerts to your phone? Were you getting texts from Ray, Michael Crow? How are you kind of following the developments? Yeah, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, you know, I'm just excited, excited that uh, we're in the situation we're in.
coach uh, yesterday, uh, Arizona coach Jeff Fish, said that all the uh, recent developments in college football, whether that be realignment, uh, NIL, or the transfer portal, will be beneficial kind of to the student athletes. Do you feel that same way? Yeah, I mean, I think there's pros and cons to everything. I don't think you can ever make a decision and everybody happy. It's impossible. Right, that's part of making decisions. What you do as a leader, what President Crow has to do, what Ray Anderson has to do, is make a decision that's best, not for football, not for softball, not for hockey, not for basketball, but for Arizona State, for Arizona State. And if you look at what Arizona State is about, it's about serving its community, right? If you look at you know, our vision and our mission statement as a university, it's about serving the community. And every decision they're gonna make is about what is best for our community and what is best for Arizona State University. That's good. On the field coach, what kind of progress do you think you guys made this week in the first week a of lot. practice? I think the growth from spring ball to now in terms of what it takes to win. We're still a long way away, but we're a lot closer than we were. And I think the guys are coming out here like, look at them. They're smiling on their faces. We just practiced two hours and 10 minutes. People are out here smiling. They're competing. They're, they're falling in love with the process. And that's the challenge, not just in football, but in life, right? You don't always do the job you want. I didn't always, I wasn't always the head coach at Arizona State. I've been a GA at Memphis, where I lived on an air mattress, right? I didn't have a TV, right? There was caution tape on the door next door, right? It wasn't the job I wanted, but you know what? I fell in love with the process and the situation I was in. And I think that's what we're challenging our guys is fall in love with the process and the situation you're in. Oh, what's up, funny guy? Perfect. Jordan Clark was nervous today our receiver. Um, is there any way that he could get a, a play, an option route, maybe a fade in the playbook this year? 100%. I think we're going to run all those plays in practice, though. <laughs> <laughs> I threw him off. Thanks, guys. See ya. Thanks, guys.